New reaction tonight following federal raids at the L.A. and Miami homes of Sean Diddy Combs, a story we broke right here on Fox 11. Fox 11's Matthew Seedorf, he's outside Diddy's Holmby Hills home as the music mogul's attorneys have raised concerns about how Monday's raid was carried out. Matthew. That's right, Marla. It's actually been quiet at this house today. We have seen some workers going in and back out. But as you said, some are now questioning the tactics used here Monday for that raid. Concerns over what Sean Diddy Combs' attorney calls an excessive show of force Monday at Diddy's homes in L.A. and Miami. Exclusive video obtained by Fox 11 shows the raid in Holmby Hills. Federal agents using a loudspeaker, holding guns and shields, and possibly using a saw. This for a warrant in what sources describe as a sex trafficking investigation. A situation like this, you have a very expensive house, high profile people, but you don't know who's in there. Who's their security? Who's their, their personal bodyguard? What are they going to do? If this is typical for law enforcement, it should not be acceptable, even if it's typical. Tim Lynn worked in law enforcement more than 30 years, while Jody Armour is a law professor at USC. One wonders whether they're doing it in order to affect the public opinion, right? This really makes it look like where there's this much smoke, there must be fire. As a former member of law enforcement, what was your initial reaction seeing the numbers here at that house? Look, they brought the materials that they needed to affect the search warrant. The big thing is you never want to get caught short. You always want to bring more than you need to be able to de-escalate a situation. The music mogul's attorney calls all of this a witch hunt. There was a gross overuse of military level force as search warrants were executed at Mr. Combs' residences. There is no excuse for the excessive show of force and hostility exhibited by authorities. Again, Diddy's attorney says that he is innocent. We have that full statement up right now at FoxLA.com. Reporting live tonight, Matthew Seedorf, Fox 11 News. Matthew, Monday was mayhem there because this is when the raid happened. You were there yesterday and today. I would think that this would be more of a tourist destination now that this story has fallen upon that specific address. Have you seen that out there? That's exactly right. We actually have some onlookers right now, possibly tourists, like you're saying, and we're also seeing Spectrum cable trucks out front. Not exactly sure what's going on, but we've seen them going in and out all day long. So as you're saying, it's quieter than it was out here on Monday, but still some action going on. You wonder if the feds messed up the Wi-Fi. <laughs> they need to do a little bit of uh, fixing there. Um, and still, any word from, from Diddy himself? Obviously, we heard from that attorney. Uh, do we know where he is? Any sighting of him today? Uh, no sightings today. Last check, uh, TMZ was reporting that possibly he was in Miami, but that was Monday, I believe. So no updates since then, and we still have not heard from him himself. And I haven't heard from a lot of his friends coming out to defend him either, which is also an interesting mm. thing. Uh, Matthew Seedorf, thank you for your reporting tonight.